Welcome to another Unity tutorial where today we're going to be talking about a static occlusion calling. So what is that? Well, basically it's just a way to make sure that you're not rendering the different meshes that aren't actually in the scene. So for example, right now you can see in the game view, we're facing this gate. So all the objects over here actually don't even need to be rendered at all, depending on yeah the facing direction of the camera. So. To start off with this tutorial, what we're going to need to do is mark all of the scene objects that don't move around as static. So if we mark them as static, then we're able to uh, do the occlusion calling on them. So in my scene, it's set up pretty nicely. I have uh, Old West and I have Gate here. So these are the two uh, game objects, parent objects that hold all of the individual objects. Your scene might not be so simple, but try to uh, clean that up if possible. And then it's pretty simple. You just uh, select those and then set them both to static. So now if I open one of these up, I can look at each of these objects and I can see that they're all marked as static here, which is pretty nice. Now, for example, we don't want to mark an object like this golem as static because he'll be moving around the scene and maybe he'll move in and out of the view of the camera. So we don't uh, have the ability to mark him as static then because we need him to be drawn in some cases. All right. So the next step is going to be to go to window, rendering, and then select occlusion calling over here. And then we want to go and select bake. So we have some default parameters. I won't get into these, but we can simply just select bake right here. And it'll begin doing the uh, computing of the occlusion. So you can see here that the world is being divided up into sections. And uh, these sections will just be testing where the objects are basically to see if we're inside or outside of that view. And if it's inside the view for the camera, then that means we're going to need to actually draw that individual object. This might take a minute. And while we have this minute to talk, uh, I'll just mention that this uh, scene that you can see right here is for a game I'm working on called Blocky's VR. It's a VR game. And uh, just by doing these, this static occlusion sort of work, I was actually able to double the frame rate on the Oculus Quest 2. So that was uh, pretty nice to be able to do for this project. All right, so you can see that it's already working. Uh, since we're inside the occlusion and visualization section right here, you can see that in the scene view, only what we're actually seeing is coming up. Now, if I go and select the player and start to rotate the player around, different objects are going to start to appear. So I'm going to rotate it to this part right here where the camera actually looks out beyond the cliffs surrounding. And then you can see all of these other uh, objects are being rendered here now because uh, the view is way farther out than over here. Over here is just looking at the cliff as you can see. All right, I'll undo that. And yeah, to get out of this view, you can just select something else even go back to inspector for example and now you can actually see that the whole scene is being rendered as before but when you actually run the game the uh, occlusion is being applied to the scene all right well thank you so much for watching and yeah for anyone interested i'll show the clip of uh, blocky's vr the game that i'm working on and the discord for that game is in the description i hope to make more content on it soon all right thank you